As newborns, infants, and toddlers, we're still working on controlling our bladders. Our brain only knows that when we have to go, it's time to go, and for many of us, we'll need to go around six or seven times a day. After some training, we learn to control when we go and how long we're able to wait before we get to a bathroom. Sometimes, we wait a little too long. There may not be facilities nearby or we're just too busy. But holding it in isn't necessarily a bad thing until it becomes a habit. That's when problems begin to arise, some more severe than others. Here is what happens when you wait too long to pee. Bladder restrictions Your bladder is only capable of holding so much, roughly 2 cups of water or 16 ounces comfortably. For kids, it's even less, only 4 ounces. Think of your bladder as a muscle because, well, that's exactly what it is. When your bladder is overworked, it can affect other things, for example, your pelvic floor. Your pelvic floor muscle is what controls whether or not you're going to keep urine in or let it out. Just imagine going back to your infant days, so you want your bladder to be in great shape. Stretching yourself thin Believe it or not, the more you put off emptying your bladder, the more it stretches out. Dr. Chamandeep Bali, a naturopathic doctor at the Toronto Naturopathic Health Clinic, told the Huffington Post that once the bladder stretches, your brain can lose its ability to know when you have to go. That critical message your bladder sends to your brain when it's time to go can go unnoticed, which could potentially mean you could actually pee your pants. Now, that would be embarrassing. Think of this as a worst-case scenario. But OBGYN Lauren Stryker, MD, told Redbook, As your bladder gets fuller and fuller, there's a good chance you aren't going to make it to the bathroom on time. Yikes! Many of us have been there. That just barely made it scenario, where the bathroom line may have been just slightly too long after you sprinted to get there. It's more likely to happen to young children and the elderly. If peeing your pants is cool, consider me Miles Davis. But that doesn't mean it can't happen to you if you push your bladder too far. Cue the adult diapers. The dreaded UTI. About half of all women have had a urinary tract infection, or UTI, at least once in their lives. These infections occur because bacteria has made its way into the urinary tract, which then causes symptoms like burning, the need to urinate frequently, and pelvic pain, among others. But UTIs aren't actually a direct result of holding in your pee. If you don't empty your bladder enough, your body becomes a breeding ground for bacteria, which can then cause a UTI. UTIs aren't the only thing that can occur if bacteria makes itself at home in your urinary tract. Different adverse effects can include further infections, fever, pain, cramping, and more. It's a total domino effect. Save yourself the hassle and just go. Other organs in danger Your bladder connects to your urinary system, which includes your kidneys. The kidneys create urine from the excess water in the bloodstream and by filtering waste. If urine travels back up the tubes that connect your bladder to your kidneys, it can cause infections and kidney damage. In long-term cases of holding in your pee, elastic tissue can become damaged and eventually be replaced by scar tissue, which can then cause kidney damage down the road. Clenched too tight Not only will you cause yourself discomfort by holding in your urine, but the muscle doing all the work can end up staying clenched. Dr. Stryker explained, I see a lot of people who come in with lower abdominal pain and think that something is seriously wrong, and one of the things I look for is, does the person have normal bladder habits? And a lot of times, they don't. Well, that causes pain that may stick around for a while. Liquor and Caffeine Alcohol will cause you to use the bathroom more, as will coffee and caffeinated drinks. All of these drinks are diuretics, meaning they can increase urine production. So if you're worried about having to use the bathroom often, maybe you're on a road trip or you're stuck in a meeting, don't drink them. When you gotta go, go! The more holding it in becomes a habit, the more you're going to see the problems it can create. It's important to make sure you get to the toilet, not just because of the sheer embarrassment of a potential accident, but because some of the health consequences can be very severe. Allow yourself ample time in your day to free your pee, and you'll be golden in more ways than one. I could go right now. <laughs> then go, go. Oh, I, I can't. I want to, but I can't. Thanks for watching. Click the list icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.